<laughs> How can you make a good presentation even more effective? One, show your passion and connect with your audience. It's hard to be relaxed and be yourself when you're nervous. But time and again, the great presenters say that the most important thing is to connect with your audience. And the best way to do that is to let your passion for the subject shine through. Be honest with the audience about what is important to you and why it matters. Be enthusiastic and honest and the audience will respond. Two, focus on your audience's needs. Your presentation needs to be built around what your audience is going to get out of the presentation. As you prepare the presentation, you always need to bear in mind what the audience needs and wants to know, not what you can tell them. While you're giving the presentation, you also need to remain focused on your audience's responses and react to that. You need to make it easy for your audience to understand and respond. Okay. The tone is quite clear to understand, but it's always the same. The whole time it's the same. So we've had two paragraphs being the same. We need to think... Because you're giving, you bring out importance on certain words and things and being quite didact didactic, no, you're quite mm. punchy, but it's all the same. So after a while we get tired of this. Yeah. So maybe you need to think that certain things are like the big idea and then other things are the paragraph or the explanation or start to give some things a little less emphasis yeah. and other things a little more. Because otherwise we'll turn off. You right. see what I mean? Yeah, we'll start we to say, oh, to this is... <sighs> we can't have emphasis on everything. It's like music. Yeah. You know when you listen to heavy metal? Do you like heavy metal? No. No, neither do I. But in heavy metal, they have like a quiet bit, and then they go like this again. Yeah. Because if the whole time on like this, it just, it's just boring. Yeah. So you have to have highs and lows. Huh? Yeah. Okay? Try and give three, and maybe big title, little pause, and then ask, you've also got question, no? So when you ask a question, it sounds different, no? To when you give the title, when you've got the question. And you've also got some brackets, so in the brackets, I want to hear those brackets. It's like, you know, not so important yeah. this shit. And then you get back onto your main point. It's like a slight diversion that you don't give much emphasis to, and then you're back onto to the main yeah. point, you see? Try and work these Be more things. expressive, right? Just a little more, more varied. Okay. Because it's just all the same. We'll listen back to it and you'll hear. No, I understand what you mean. Uh, three, keep it simple. Concentrate on your core message. Okay, so we've got two things. We've got, this, we've got three words here and then we've got five words here. And we've got the semi, we've got the colon there. Yeah. So, how are you going to do, you've got two things there. Are they the same thing? Is that repeating the same idea or are they two different things? Or is one a sub-idea of the main idea? What's it like? You decide. Yeah, I, th I thought it was a sub-idea. It was being more specific on a concept of simplicity. Okay, so this is the big idea and this is the little explanation of that big idea. Yeah. No? Try it like that. Keep it simple. Concentrate on your core message. So I think the pause it, is sufficient. I would, if you're saying that this is a sub idea of this, yeah. okay, it would be better for this to be bigger and this be smaller. But you didn't do that very big, and then this was the same size. Yeah. Okay. So we'll try. It. I'm not saying it is a sub idea of it, but we'll try it like that. So I want you to have the first three words really big, yeah. and then the second ones not so big. Okay. Keep it simple. Concentrate on your core message. Well, you can do various ways to make this bigger. How can we make, how can we make these first three words different? Let's think about the different tools we can use to make it bigger. Louder. Louder. Longer. Draw it out, yes. Yeah. Tone of voice. Body language. 
Yeah. Donald Trump splitting up each word or even yeah. even each syllable. No? Yeah. A bit too much, maybe, but you know. Yeah. Okay, so try and use those techniques then here and then let that flow more. Okay. Oh yeah. Just just so that you're not always the same because people turn off. Keep it simple. <laughs> Concentrate on your core message. Okay. I really okay. struggle with this one. <laughs> yeah, okay, but at least you made that difference. Yeah. Hmm. Now, let's, tr let's not say that, yeah. because if we always do the same thing, imagine that you have a core speech that you give to all investors. Yeah. If you do it the same way every time, you will get flat, even if it's the first time they've ever heard it. So you need to start thinking of different ways that you can play it, otherwise you'll get bored with your speech and they will get more listening to it. Mm -hmm. So let's try and do that these are equal value. It's boom, pause, and then repetition. It's that Donald Trump repetition. So imagine that this is a repetition of the first one. No, you've got to keep it simple, and then you're going to repeat the same thing, but with different words. So imagine that you're repeating it, but with different words. So you've got yeah. Think about the verbs, okay? These verbs are not written randomly. What verb tense do you have here? Uh, present? No. <laughs> Future? No. Imperative. Shut up. Uh, Fuck you. Like Keep. <laughs> Keep it simple. Yeah. And then here, what tense do we have here? Imperative. Again. Yeah. So we've got two imperatives. Yeah. So you need to be thinking about the type of verbs you use. It's not like, it's not a question, why don't we keep it simple? Why don't we concentrate on this? Which would be a rhetorical question or two rhetorical questions. See what I mean? Yeah. No, I'm not saying, why don't we keep it simple? Why don't we concentrate on the main idea? No, I'm saying, Imperative, which is sometimes it's strange for the English people when we go to a spa in Spain yeah. and you say dame or in Italian when they answer the phone and they say diga, well normally they say pronto, but if they say diga, yeah. tell me, no? I'm like, give me? No, because in England, could I have a beer please? We would say, yeah. and here you say dame una cani, but it's different use of the imperative. But here's an imperative, so make it punch. Punch. Can can I hear you do it and maybe then mm. understand what you're referring to? Because I would say, keep it simple. Concentrate on your core message. And do you remember when we? I think it's better for you if you do, if we don't just copy me. And I'm not saying that I'm going to do it perfectly. Yeah. I'm not you, and I wouldn't necessarily do yourself. Also, do you remember when we looked at Donald Trump and the and the repetition? Yeah. Let's. And also we had the sentence stress. During the sentence stress is you pick out one word. Yeah. And I'm going to pick out these two verbs. Okay, so I'm going to go keep and concentrate. Yeah. No? And you're going to pick those out. And when you pick them out, you give the other things a little less. Yeah. Yeah? So we can still see that, con that okay. emphasis. Keep it, no, keep it simple. That's it. Concentrate on your core message. Now, we've given a big punch here. So on the next bit, we'll relax a bit. We'll fill in the information. Yeah. When planning your presentation, you should always keep in mind the question, what is the key message or three key points for my audience to take away? You should be able to communicate that key message very briefly. Some experts recommend a 30-second elevator summary. Others, that you can write it on the back of a business card or say it in no more than 15 words. Okay. So, the idea of writing it on the back of a business card or saying what you can say in 15 words. Hmm? Yeah. Keep it simple. Whichever rule you choose, the important thing is to keep your core message focused and brief. 
If what you're planning to say doesn't contribute to your core message, don't say it. Let's throw that thing, let's do the throwing away. You know, if, if what you're planning to say doesn't contribute to that core message, don't say it. Don't say it. Throw it away. Like, boom. Don't yeah. say it. So you're coming down here. He's not, boom. Not yeah. here. It's like, you know, if it doesn't contribute to your core message, just don't say it. Then you can come back with some more punch, you see. Yeah. There you've got vocal dynamics, because you've got the big title, and then here you just, don't do it. Now, we're ready for another heading, you see? Yeah. Okay. Just one second. Um, Shall we pause? Let's listen back.